an Amarusa in Chinese psych astrology. Anyway, I just hope somehow I can multiply your joy, subtract your pain, divide your sorrow, and add to your tomorrow. And let's be all be good to each other and be calm, not get crazy about what's going on, because it is crazy out there, and figure out how to make it all work. I love you. I can't believe that it's been two whole years since we started Quest TV, and I'm so incredibly proud of my small, yet passionate team led by my brother, Razor, over in my home away from home. Quest TV is always going to be my jazz baby, but we've also personally curated channels dedicated to soul, to funk, groove, hip-hop, and music from all around the world. The best, from bebop to hip-hop to laptop. We recently launched Quest TV in Japan. Now it's available in English, French, and Japanese. Katakani. You can also find a selection of our favorite shows on Emirate Airline and in education formats at schools such as Princeton, Harvard, and conservatories all over Europe. This past summer, I had the honor of returning to my old stomping grounds in Paris to play an absolutely beautiful show at the Aco Hotels Arena. It was a full circle moment to be back in the city I first stepped foot in 66 years ago when I was touring with Lionel Hampton and studying with Nadi Boulanger. And it makes my soul smile like a fox eating sauerkraut that Quest TV captured the entire experience for y'all. Fancy, what's your definition of soul music? You just defined it. <laughs> it's music from, from the soul, though. Uh, the soul music means to me, it means music from the church, I the black church that, that uh, two whole years since we became started what West it is TV. because uh, and I'm so the incredibly proud of my small struggles the team the led and by my suffering and everything over in my home that away from home. Chris TV is always going to be my dream for baby. people. But we've well, all black people in the United States dedicated to soul, uh, punk, groove, hip hop, and music from all around know, the world. By their own wishes, from they, to hip -hop the things to that they had to go through, we they had to find a place in, in, in the deepest part in English, of their spirit and their soul. The cunning. You could also find to a selection was the of only place to go. on Emirates and Airlines uh, and an education uh, format to set schools such as Princeton, Harvard, this so finally ended up, Europe. the centerpiece, the, 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 the main place, place for this ended up being in the church. Stomping grounds in Paris. Uh, and the play I say most of what we call soul music is, you know, I think it all comes from the church. What do you consider the great soul artists? Oh, there are so many. <laughs> there are so many. That's, that's a question I wouldn't even attempt to answer because it, 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 it goes, the history is so long because I still consider that you, you have to, to look at, at, soul, at the, the church music, of, uh, at, if that's the mother, then there are cousins and nephews and, and, and all these relatives of, of jazz and blues and, and, and uh, uh, all the various forms of, of, of black music that, uh, uh, that's all from one family because like any, even in modern jazz, uh, Mel Jackson once said, you know, that's fine, let's play the real outside songs, which are the more difficult ones. He said, but let's start with the blues first. Let's start and play the blues. And the blues is like an almost like a, 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 the universal language of, uh, of, of musicians. Okay. Um, at age 14, when you were living in Seattle, you met Ray Charles and uh, formed a band with him. Can you tell me a little bit about that? What kind of music you were playing? Where you were playing? Well, actually, we, there, there were two bands uh, at, at one point. Uh, one was Bones Blackwell Jr. Band that, that we were playing with, I was playing with, and Ray had a trio called the Maxim Trio, which was a piano, bass, and drums. And Seattle was a funny place because uh, uh, you had to get any kind of job you could. So one night might be, the, the uh, uh, pattern of one night might be, uh, uh, at seven o'clock you start at the Seattle Tennis Club and you play shotishes and you play uh, a little 
uh, rumba or whatever it was, uh, and room full of roses and some of the pop music at that time was standard music. And then at 10 o'clock you'd pack up and you'd go over to another club like the Rockin' Chair or the Black and Tan or the Washington Educational and Social Club, which you know those were the, 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 the black clubs where you'd play rhythm and blues and you had to put on a show and, and, and get, keep everybody up in a totally different mood than what we'd done at the tennis club. And then at 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, you'd get together and play uh, uh, a bebop at the Elks Club. That's what everybody really wanted to play. Now, Ray, that's where we used to meet up. You know, we had the, the individual bands play the jobs before, and we used to all meet down at the Elks Club and play the jazz things. Quincy Jones, who distinguished himself over the course of a 70-year career in music as an artist, a band leader, a composer, an arranger, and a music producer, has died. He was 91 years old. Jones died on Sunday night at his home in California, according to a statement that has been shared to the press. The no cause of death has been revealed by uh, the family. They, however, released a statement that read tonight with full but broken hearts. We must share the news of our father, a brother, Quincy Jones, passing. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the life that he lived and know there will never be another like him. The family father continued and said he is truly one of a kind and will miss him dearly. He's been regarded as one of the legends within the entertainment community and he was so great that he was even nicknamed with one letter that is Q. He was bred uh, in a world of jazz and of course he became one of the top music music most formidable figures as he collected his 28 Grammy Awards for his 1990 album Back on the Block. He's been regarded as a man who was involved and practiced philanthropy, you know, uh, he's very much remembered. Uh, you know, in 1985, when he made international headlines as the producer of the USA for Africa, We Are the World, the single devoted, uh, the single that was devoted to African feminine relief. Jackson co authored the song with uh, Lionel Richie and led its all star cast of vocalists. He was uh, the first African American to pin the score for a major motion picture that was in 1964's The Pawn Broker and went on to receive seven Oscar nominations. For for the best original score and a song. In 1995, he received the AMPAS John Herschel Humanitarian Award, another first for a black artist. He's been uh, not only very good with entertainment, but he was also good with when it came to, you know, uh, fighting for the common cause of the poor, the unprivileged, and most especially uh, the blacks. You know, he was. Uh, he's been probably the best known um uh, he was i mean he was probably best known for his production collaborations with michael jackson which began in 1979 with a singles breakthrough solo album of the wall which by the way sold an estimated 20 million copies internationally and he also produced thriller a very very huge song for mj that was released and it became number one in 1987 um i think 1982 then he also was involved with Jackson's number one hit of 1987 named as Bart. R.I.P. to the legend.